Welcome everyone, I would like to show how to easily transfer photos and videos from your Android to your Mac. So any Android is supported, let's get started. So what you want to do is just head over to the first link in the description and it'll bring you to this page right here. Then you just want to click on the download now button, click on this one, and you just want to wait for the Android file transfer to download. Then click on here, open file, just wait for it, and you're going to see this field. You just want to click on the Android file transfer, drag and drop to applications, and then you should be good to go. Once you're done, just double click on applications. You're going to see Android file transfer. Right click on it, click on open, and then click on open one more time. Now you'll see this message, no Android device found. So all you need to do is just plug in your device to the computer. So I'm just going to get my uh, charging cable, just plug in my Android to the computer. You may need an adapter, so just keep that in mind. Now we see here, can't access device storage. We're just going to click on OK, and we just need to check our Android phone. You're going to see this message saying, allow access to phone data. Just tap on the allow right here. And once you've done that, you should see the Android file transfer load up right here. Now, if you get a bug where you can't navigate your Android phone, all you need to do is close out of Android file transfer, load it up again, and then you should be good to go. There should be no bugs. So in order to access the camera, click on DCIM here, and then click on camera. And it may take a bit to load this because it's going to load up all your photos, all your videos. So you can see all your photos, they're uh, JPEG, .mp4 are all the videos right here. You have the filters, so you can uh, sort by name by just clicking on this. So you can see what it's doing is it's starting reverse alphabetical order and then alphabetical order. And you can see you can do like that. Then you have the last modified here. So what this will do is it will filter all your files by the last modified. So you can see latest file 22nd of November. If I do this again, you can see 21st of November, all that good stuff. So. Uh, you also have the size here, you can filter by the size, largest size, 3.8 gig, and then lower size right there. And if you just want to access the files, all you need to do is just drag and drop to whatever you want. And you can see just like that, we have this a screenshot here. So that's a screenshot of that. If you want to transfer the videos, just find that .mp4 and then transfer them over. If you want to transfer all of your stuff, just find the camera, drag and drop that, and then it will do its thing. This will take a bit of a uh, time though, so I'm not going to cover that. Also, you may have some photos inside of the... Um, the downloads just click on downloads here and if you ever download any photos you're going to see uh, all those downloads right here and also all the other files you've downloaded so you can see i uh, have some uh, other stuff here i was about to say the name of that stuff but youtube doesn't like that and um yes mostly photos here that i've downloaded through a snap drop and uh, some fortnite stuff all that good stuff this is all available and if you want to drag and drop you can always drag and drop as well so hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure to leave a like subscribe for brand new thanks for watching see you guys later Bye-bye.